spend some of our energy to make a voltage difference across our cell membranes. So it's more negative outside than inside. All cells are that way. The most obvious case of that, of course, is nerve tissue. Nerve impulses are nothing but electrical waves passing through different cells. So that, that's energy, right? That's the kind of energy that the Edison company can relate to. That energy is coming from the chemical potential energy of our food. Uh, chemical concentration gradients were always, all of our cells are busy pumping out sodium all the time. It keeps leaking back in and pumping in potassium. Things like that require warmth. And of course, we've talked about this before, we have to make lots of energy rich compounds. Those are uphill jobs. And then <coughs> mechanical energy and muscles and other kinds of fiber contractions. So here's the rule of thumb. Oh, we're going to use this term favorable. A favorable reaction is one that will go in the forward direction if you get rid of all impediments. So I, I drew a straight line from there to there. That's a water's flowing downhill with no impediment. An impediment would be that dam up at the, the lake. It would, uh, it would want to go, except it's being blocked. And in the chemical world, there are impediments like that because reactions usually don't work quite like that. You don't break bonds and make new bonds without putting in a little energy first. So usually it looks something like that. There's a little bump in front of the downhill slope. That's the so-called activation energy. That's why chemists use Bunsen burners. <laughs> if they want to react to go, they heat it up, get some of this energy to get over these barriers. A little speed bump. Some are small, some are big. Uh, when we talk about enzymes, we'll talk about those barriers right away. But for now, our focus is on not the path that the reaction takes, but where does it start and where does it end. And we'll define favorable reactions as any reaction that proceeds in a downhill direction to a lower energy level. Um, and lower energy and more disorder. We're going to be talking about entropy.